what is going on fragrance world happy saturday it is your boy trey since listen before we get into this video got a little something i need from you i need you to like this video as, as it is a goal for us to get all of our videos to at least 50 likes i need you to share this video if at all possible and if you haven't and you find what I do interesting, laid back, relaxing, just super, super chill, because that is my goal, to be the homie that you talk fragrances with, and you haven't, by all means, give me a sub. That's one form of business. The second form of business is, if you didn't catch it in my last video, I'm going to tell you again, in this video, I have entered into a little bit of a partnership with, I'll call him a friend, Mr. The owner and priorator of JB Butters. And this time I'm going to show you a little bit of what we're talking about when we're talking about JB Butters. This is a container that it comes in. See right there. And this is the magical shea butter that is inside. So basically what you have with JB Butters is you have shea butter infused with a scent this is the first one that i received from him many 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 months ago and this one is his version of tom ford tobacco money this stuff is very very potent now the two that i have coming um are more versatile and will go with more fragrances and when they come in i will do a video about them and i will tell you about them etc etc but i will leave the link in the description below or the email or website for you to get to jb butters and also if you use code tray5 you will receive five dollars off of your purchase now to what you came here for seven men's fragrances for my collection that i think are great for this upcoming spring or this between type of weather that we're having uh, where it's sort of warm sort of cool it's, to me it's just about perfect it's, especially when the sun comes out and it's pretty no further ado let's get to it some of these you may have tried some of them you may not have tried some of some of these you may have overlooked I don't hear many people talk about these a lot of these fragrances but nonetheless I think they're really good fragrances and I want to talk to you about them from the house of Mark Echo. It is Mark Echo Blue. Now, I really like this fragrance. I was friends with a young lady many years ago who actually sold fragrances for a living. That's what she did. She worked for one of those companies that would be at the mall spraying you when you came by. And this was one of her favorite scents. Out of all the fragrances, this is the one that she liked the most now what do you get with mark echo blue and why do i think this is a great one for the spring uh late winter early spring and i say that because where i live like today it was cool and rainy but it was still like 65 degrees and i think it's <laughs> the shooting of this video is about 2 a.m and it's still in the 50s so in the southeast our weather is different and the further south you go the warmer it's going to get so this one you have just a hint a hint of blue in this one but what you get is just a nice fresh clean masculine fragrance which is one of my favorite types of fragrances it's just an easy fragrance to wear you don't have to think about it you don't have to worry about what you're going to put on with it you just grab it spray and go and I've had I had some friends that were into fragrances as well and this is one once they smelled it they were like man you got that Mark Echo Blue and I was like yeah I got it I got it it's just a workhorse of a fragrance this is an everyday type of scent you could wear this to the office you could wear it to the gym if you wanted to you could wear it to your son or your daughter's little league baseball game your soccer game whatever they're participating in karate practice whatever it this fragrance just it just works 
and this big old bottle was really inexpensive. I have to admit, I haven't seen it around the rag stores lately. I don't know if it's discontinued. I hope it's not. So I don't know if the price has jumped up. But my price for this huge, the 3.4 or 4.2 ounce bottle. Let's see if I can get the eye, old eyes to focus in. I don't know. We'll say 3.4 just for the sake of giving it a size. It was around 20 bucks. It was in between 15 and 20 dollars. Now, 15 and 20 dollars for a 100 or 125 mil designer fragrance is pretty good, especially one that smells as good as this one does. Now, disclaimer, is it the reinvention of the wheel? No, it's not. It's not. But in 2024, it's pretty hard to pick up a fragrance that is. But if you're looking for something that's clean, that's fresh, that's easy to wear with a kiss of freshness and a kiss of blue wrapped around some masculinity, then try Mark Echoes Blue. I think you will like it. And I don't hear anybody talking about that fragrance. It may have been hyped at one time. I don't know. But it, it's not anymore. This next one is from a house that I really, really like. Man, the light is playing tricks on me. If I ever get to sit down with a cologne company and give them some input on a fragrance, I'm going to tell them that especially Kenneth Cole. This is Kenneth Cole's man. And you barely can see it right there. You barely can see it. And then you take the top off and you have a black atomizer that you, if they had put Kenneth Cole in red right there and that little dot right there red, it would have been much more memorable, much more easy. Just all around because even if you love this fragrance you're not going to know what the name of it is all you're going to be able to tell them is it's something by kenneth cole now to the scent profile sweet smooth woody is what i get from this particular bottle that just bugs me i mean you can't you can see it you can honestly see it better from this side from the back than you can the front it's just you can see it like that right there, but still. <sighs> that bugs me. The little things that these companies do bug me because it's like, who designed this bottle? Who said that that was? And Kenneth Cole is a clothing brand. Like, who thought that was, you know, okay? You want it to grab you. You, want, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing about this bottle that says, hey, spray me. So, but again, the scent profile. It smells like you're, if you've ever lived near, a lumber yard and you you know that smell of what is it cedar the smell of the, the the wood being cut that's sort of what you have here toned down just a little bit with the wood and toned up with the sweetness now again this is one that I think you would be able to wear in the hottest part of an early spring day a late winter day and then at the same time in the coolest part of the evening which is why I suggested all of these fragrances and that's why I like them because I think they will go okay if the day heated up a little bit and they would be fine if the day cooled down just a little bit. But from the house of Kenneth Cole, it is Kenneth Cole, man. Really, really frustrating. This one, I know at one time was hyped and it has been passed up by its predecessors. It's been passed up by its flankers and rightfully so because its flankers are amazing. But that doesn't mean that this fragrance isn't as good or isn't amazing as well from the house of ysl it is ysl's y and this is the original ysl y and i got a great deal on this way back in the day i ordered it from macari and it was a full tester box included i think it actually came from hawaii if i remember correctly because it took a minute to get here but yeah that's nice that's nice. I understand. Look, I have a lot of the YSL Y flankers as well. Uh, a lot of the, yes. I think the ones I'm missing is, what am I missing? YSL Y Live Intense. And then the remake of this one, I think, is what I'm missing. But nonetheless, this fragrance is beautiful. I mean, I, I, it makes me go, I remember why we were so hyped about the release of this the YSL, the Y. But then it makes me think, 
why did we jump off the bandwagon of this one so quick? Flankers aren't always better, you know? But this is just a beautiful, beautiful scent profile. Yes, it's a little bit familiar. It's a little bit blue. It's a little bit sweet. It reminds you of your basic designer fragrance right now that every niche house or every designer house is putting out. Everyone has a fragrance that smells like this. You just have to pick which one you like better, whether it's Calvin Klein to Chanel. All of them have that sweet blue and broxony, easy to wear scent. And the reason so many houses are making it is because people love that fragrance. So, or they love that scent profile. So from the house of YSL, it is the original YSL Y. If you have this in your collection, I think you should pick it up and wear it. Or if you have an opportunity to get this at a relatively good price because there's so many flankers out now, I suggest you pick it up. If you missed this one, the first go around, I think it's one that you can add to your collection now at a relatively good price. And I honestly think you should do it. You should, you could probably find this in the Facebook group or like I did on Macari. And I don't think it would be anywhere near as expensive as some of the newer YSL fragrances. And you have the exact same DNA. That DNA started it all. They just twerked it just a little bit. I said twerk. This next one is from the house of Viasachi. And it was hard to pick which Versace fragrance that I was going to put in here. I almost went with Mano Fresh, but I thought, you know what? People are gonna mention that one a lot here in the next couple of months, next couple of weeks, because the temperatures are getting so nice. So I went with the original Versace Per Home. And this one is just the definition of clean. This is the definition of clean, classy, button down shirt, white t-shirt, easy to wear but still smell good that's what you get with this one that's what you get with this one and i think it would go great on a beautiful spring or late winter day with the wind blowing you know you got on you know just a nice pair of dungarees a nice pair of jeans a nice pair of you know whether you wear loafers or are because you know what we at the age we're in our 40s we at the age where everything is not comfortable and comfortable is key so whether you like sneakers or just a pair of you know loafers whether that's what's comfortable to you or, or boots whatever's comfortable to you this fragrance i think will accompany any of it because it's just that fresh it's just that easy you have a slight really really slight citrus note in there that just makes it warm enough to wear in the sun but then it, it, it has that refined clean uh, appeal to it that just makes it seem like a really really expensive fragrance but it's so simple and so minimalistic that it works so from the house of Versace it is Versace per home this is a good one this is a good one, man. This is a real good one. It's not a super, super strong fragrance. It's real easy. This is one of those come close and cuddle me type of scents. But I think if you wore this to a job interview, I think people would catch whiffs of you and think, hey, he smells nice. And that's never a bad compliment. If somebody goes, you smell nice. That's, I mean, that's honestly what we're hoping for. Yeah, we all well want to be, you know, uh, Mr. GQ, GQ Smooth is one of my homeboys says all the time. He's like, yeah, you Mr. GQ Smooth. I'm like, I don't even know what that means, D, but you know, whatever. But to hear someone say you smell nice or you look nice, I understand exactly what that means. And hey, a guy in his late 40s, to hear you look nice or you smell nice, I know exactly what that means. So I think this is one of those fragrances that will go great, whether we're talking about um, the late evenings, catching a t-ball tournament, a soccer tournament on a Saturday, or going out for drinks, or running errands during the day, or like I said, a job interview. I think this one will work just fine in this between winter, summer, spring type of weather that we're having in the Southeast. I got three more for you. This next one, again, the first time I smelled this fragrance, I loved it. Um, <clears throat> I don't think it received the love that it should have. The house is oddly enough becoming more and more popular. I've heard young kids talk about it. The house is Burberry, a Burberry. 
the fright is from, and it's a flanker from the Mr. Burberry line. And it's Mr. Burberry, a Burberry Indigo. And when I first smelled this, I was like, man, I've got to have it. And I smelled it out of a sample that I had received and it was just so bright and radiant. Look at that atomizer. Yeah, I like that. What you have is citrus and fresh mint, which in a lot of ways would smell like a drink. Yeah, I was thinking there for a second. What is, oh my goodness, what is the name of that house? I cannot think of it. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. But uh, it reminds me of something from a, of a, of something from a specific house. They make really, really uh, Aqua de Parma. It reminds me, that's the house. I was thinking about Fico Diamafi. Not that this reminds me of Fico, but Fico is one of my favorite scents. But you know how you just have that mojito, that lime, that spicy type of drink vibe? That's what you get with, with this one for me. To me, that's what I get. I get a citrus mint type of vibe. And I think that would be really, really refreshing if the temperature got, you know, let's say 78, 79 degrees and that sun was out. It's going to feel a little bit warm. It's going to feel a little bit warm. And I think this fragrance would be great in that type of climate. I also think it would be great if the evening time comes and, you know, uh, you know, maybe it's, you got on a light long sleeve button down shirt or maybe even a long sleeve t-shirt and you're just going out with the with the guys to shoot a game of pool or something and you go to a place that's got a little deck a little patio when you step out on the patio and catch a breeze all of these fragrances that's what i have in mind i, I have in mind the breeze you know catching you and, and hitting you just right and just putting it into the air maybe heating it up off of your skin a little bit and just smelling nice and people catching whiffs of you and being like, mm, somebody smells good. Because that's a compliment I get all the time, especially when people walk behind me. I, I get all the time my hands like, somebody smells good. And I don't, I don't, I don't understand how come y'all know it ain't, you know, Trey. It, it, it's me. That's who smells good. But nonetheless, if you're looking for a citrusy, minty, fresh type of scent, you should probably check out Burberry's Indigo and you may like it. And it's one that I think you can still get relatively cheap. And the most beautiful part about these fragrances is not only are people not talking about them, people really aren't wearing them. People aren't wearing them. So you're going to smell a little bit different. If you like my homeboy and faithful sub, and I'll call him a friend, even though he's a Kansas City chief and boy, he called me as soon as the Super Bowl was over. I'm like, man, I'm at work. And Mr. Lamar Gaston, who likes to stand out and smell different. I think all of these fragrances will help you do that as well. This next one I bought because of Mr. Lamar Gaston, and it is from the house of Dunhill. And it is Dunhill's Icon Racing. I, I really think this Icon line Maybe it was because it hit the fragrance world with such force and was talked about so much that people, and that's nice, that people grew tired of them quickly. Maybe that's the best way to say it, but this is a really good fragrance. Think, if you haven't smelled this, think about a really modern fragrance. Anything modern, anything new, because again, they all have that ambroxany, blue, iso -y super type of note. Okay, picture that, and then add just a kiss of leather and a lot of masculinity, and that's what you have with this one. And this is a compliment, <laughs> this is a compliment getter. This one is a compliment getter. I'm going to tell you, and I'm gonna say it loud for the people in the back. Listen to me now, believe me later on. Cool Joe Goody voice. It's a compliment getter. The last time I wore this award to work and I had a fella, you know, he, he, he acted like he was embarrassed to ask. And I'm like, bro, spit it out. He said, uh, he looked around, he said, you, 
you you go get on cologne and I'm like hell yeah I gotta, I'm Trey Sense I work alone to sleep yes I yeah bro I yes sir yes sir yes sir I have on cologne and he was like man whatever that is this smells good What what is that and I told him so it's Dunhill Icon Racing and it's not even expensive and he was just like man I have to get me some of that several young ladies come in it's just a very appealing fragrance it's honestly done right I'm going to eventually add the Dunhill Icon Red and the Dunhill Icon Blue as well just because I just want to add them they may not smell like anything worth talking about but I want to add them but this one right here is a really really good scent and I almost wonder if it's a perfume concentration again forgive me I cannot get my eyes to focus on the small print that is on the bottom of these bottles it's just you know diabetic issues but um it it settles down like a perfume and the fact that it's it's smooth and it's not really really loud it's not going to project way on the other side of the room but honestly you don't want a fragrance to do that anyway you want it to be in your persons but you know and again he came through my line at work so he was just an arm length away which is where a fragrance is supposed to be but it caught his nose you know and it again it caught several people that i walked by and that's what you want when you come through there you want to be able to leave that center also from the house of dunhill it is dunhill's icon racing and again a little bit even though it's in a green bottle it does have a little bit of a blue note to it and it is a little bit leathery and a little bit again think any of the newer modern blue fragrances out there uh, yeah, think that mixed in with just a hint of leather. And that's what you got from Dunhill's Icon Racing. And this next one, oh man, I'm gonna try not to mess the name up of this one. From the house of Issy Miyake. Okay. And this is, <laughs> try not to mess this up. Lou Blue Issy U Fresh. Lou Blue de Issy U Fresh is what you have with this one and what you have with this one is, is a little bit more potent version of this one. You have a, now I know they're two different houses, but you have a fresher, cleaner, more in your face uh, fresh clean style of fragrance again perfect for an interview and these that's just nice all of these have great atomizers as you can see but that's not what you're here for that's just nice man that that's just classic clean uh, professional uh, dare I say elegant you know, well, I throw elegant in there, smooth, refined, confident. That's the thoughts that this fragrance invoked with me. And again, nice pair of, of dark denim jeans, light colored button up shirt, some decent shoes on your feet, a nice wrist watch, a fresh shave, fresh haircut. And I think this fragrance will smell like a million bucks. And I think people will think you spent a million bucks on this blue, blue, dissy, <laughs> ooh, fresh. I mean, and you see the levels on it. I've worn this quite a few times and I, I just like it, man. It's, it's just got that vibe, like R. Kelly said. Don't come after me for saying R. Kelly. Come on now. But, um... It's a great fragrance. It, it, it really is a great fragrance and I think it's a good one to wear this time of the year. And I think it's one that people either forgot about. I don't think that one ever got a whole lot of hype to begin with, but um, it's definitely not getting a lot of hype now and it's still a really good fragrance. I wanna encourage you all to do that. Don't so much get caught up in the hype and the rat race of, ooh, it's a new fragrance out. We gotta buy it. The elixir's out. The Eau de Parfum Elixir Extra is out. Enjoy what you have. 
dig through your crates or your boxes or whatever and smell some things, you know, just like your taste bud changes, so does your sense of smell. So you may pick up something that um, you didn't like and now you like it or you forgot how good it was. And as usual, any of these fragrances, you can hit me up. I will leave a link in my description about and where to find JB Butters. And, and along with the discount code. And also I will leave my email address so you can get a hold to me if you want a decant of any of these fragrances. I will be gladly to uh, put you together a little package with a five mil in it for a small, small fee. Now with that being said, it's getting late, so I gotta edit this video, so I'm gonna jump off of here. Again, thank you all for being the best part of this channel. We are so close to 4,000 subs. That's gonna be a huge milestone for you, boy. It's going to be a huge milestone for your boy and our channel. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go. Happy Saturdays. I hope you all have a great, great Saturday and enjoy yourself. I love you all and may God bless you all. Thank you all so much for being the best part of this channel and for always returning to the scene of the crime. Until next time, guys. Peace.